Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now a while ago I made a video on Veracrypt on how to uh, encrypt a drive and uh, stuff like that and I wanted to make another video which you guys recommended which was making a container, hidden uh, container which will be on a USB flash drive or on your computer. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So first off, let's get Veracrypt on the system. You can see here Veracrypt is a free download. So we're going to just quickly download uh, this. I'm just going to click on this one. And uh, you can see here the Windows version is the one we want. So we're just going to hit Save. Now I'm going to be doing this on the computer, but you can also do this on a USB flash drive. And uh, I'm going to run this and get this installed. Say yes to the user account control. And we can now close this off and accept the license, license terms and agreements here and go next and you can see install. So I'm going to just go ahead and install this on the system. Shouldn't take too long. And once we've got this installed, we're ready to go. So I'm going to click OK. And uh, you've got please consider to making a donation uh, button here. I'm going to click finish. You can always do that later on if you wish. Uh, gonna, what's this? Uh, do you want to view a tutorial? No. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go here now. So I'm going to open up Veracrypt. And this is it here. Now from here, what we're going to do is going to create a volume. So it doesn't really matter which one you click here. It's going to create a volume. And uh, when you create a volume, it's going to ask you to uh, create an encrypted file container. This is the one we've done here. Now, we didn't do this one before. We did something else. We did um, one of these ones. But with this time, we're going to create um, a container. Go next. And you can see the uh, standard uh, Veracrypt volume. But now we're going to do a hidden uh, Veracrypt volume in this one. Go next. And you can see here, uh, volume creation mode, normal. If you select this option, uh, the wizard will uh, first help you create a normal Veracrypt volume, and then it will do a hidden one. That's the one we want to do right here. So I'm going to go next. And uh, you want to do this here as well. Never save your history. That's also important so people uh, don't know what you've been up to. So what we need to do now is pick a volume location. This can be anywhere you like here, and even on a USB flash drive, as I said. Uh, we're just going to keep it on the computer, just for simplicity. And also, you can see here, never save history. This is also good to leave ticked as well. Okay, so we're going to select a file uh, here. We're going to leave it in documents, and we're going to call this, say, for instance, uh, this say storage. You can call yours whatever you like, and uh, we're going to leave it there and save inside the documents area okay so what we're going to do next is go next and uh, this is the outer volume uh, that we're going to be creating now so we're going to go next now this is where the uh, encryption algorithm uh, which you can select now obviously the more higher up uh, the tree you go here the longer it's going to take okay pretty much AES is going to be pretty much good enough for you to uh, use uh, but here, I mean, Serpent and stuff like that, I mean, the, the amount of time that's going to take to do will be a lot more, okay? So we're going to use AES just for quickness. But you can pretty much use any of these, okay? But just bear in mind, the more uh, complex, the longer it's going to take, okay? So we're not going to touch any of this stuff. We're just going to leave this as default and go next. Now, if you've got uh, KB or megabytes or gigabytes or terabytes, depending on the size of what you want to create your container uh, to, i.e. the size of it, then that's entirely up to you. OK, so I do know that we're going to be doing, say, megabytes and uh, just for this video. And I'm just going to say, for instance, uh, let's just say uh, 150 megabytes. And then we're going to go next. OK, so now we need to put in our password for the outer volume. This is the outer volume, uh, which uh, is going to be the uh, visible one when we log in. So if you do manage to uh, get breached, there'll be two volumes. There'll be the, the outer one and the hidden one. OK, so if they do crack the first one, they probably won't even see the hidden one. 
because there's two encryption parts to it. So the outer one, we're just going to put in there uh, a password here. Now, you need to put in a very decent password. Not too hard that you can't remember, but something decent so people can't guess, okay? So I'm just going to put in uh, something simple here just for the video for quickness, uh, and I can do it quickly. Now, you can use keys here, and uh, you can use a uh, PIM, and you can also use the keys here, okay? But we're not going to use that. So I'm leaving this as is. I'm going to go OK, and it's going to warn me that it's a short password, and when I know that, but you should always use a really good, strong password, OK? So I'm going to say yes, and it's now going to start to uh, randomly pull this, and the more I move the mouse, uh, the uh, the more the uh, password will be generated, uh, the encryption. You can see when I move the mouse, if I stop moving the mouse, it doesn't really move, so I'm just going to start moving it about like so, and this will create a really complex uh, one for them. So once I've done this and I'm happy, I can now uh, leave that as is and click on format. It's going to start to do the format. And there we go. So now that is the out of volume contents we need to put into the out of volume that we've just created. So, so open out of volume. And we need to now put in some content that we want to put in our uh, encrypted out of volume. So I'm just going to quickly go into uh, the, let's see here. Uh, let's see, let me see what we've got here. So I can go into this location here. Uh, say pictures and we'll put uh, data in there we're going to put these data with wallpaper in there, okay so that's what we're going to stick in out so all I need to do here is just drag this across here like so this goes into the outer volume there you go that's in the outer volume so I can just leave that down there and we can drop that down here now once we've got that in there we can now go next like so and it will say yes to the user account control. And now it wants to create our hidden volume. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do this for the hidden volume. So we're gonna go next, and we need to do the same thing. We're gonna use AES, and we'll leave this as is. Now, if he was using Serpent or any of these other ones, then obviously you would need to do those. But we're gonna go next here. And again, we need to choose a size here. And they're telling me that the maximum possible hidden volume size for this uh, volume is 33.11 uh, megabytes. So we're just gonna say, let's just say 30. That'll do. And uh, what we're gonna do next, and cause that's we're in megabytes, but obviously if we was in gigabytes and terabytes, we could do more. Uh, but we're just gonna leave this, this as is here and go next. And there you go, warning, if you want to be able to add uh, more data uh, files to the outer volume in future, you should consider choosing a smaller size uh, for the hidden volume. Are you sure you want to? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and say no here and make this a, a bit smaller here then. So that we'll just say 10. There we go, 10 megabytes, that'll do. And now it wants us to put in a password so now we can put in a password here. So I'm just going to put in there. There we go. Something like that. Now it's going to warn me that it's too small, but you want to put a bit really complex password in. So I'm going to go next. And again, I'm going to say yes, that's fine. And again, we're going to be moving around. You should see it going green. Keep moving your mouse. You'll see it here. If I don't move my mouse, uh, it's not going to create a really decent uh, random pool, so we're just going to keep doing this for a little while. And then we're going to click Format. And there we go. The hidden volume has been successfully created and is ready for use. Now, uh, you can see here it's telling us about warning if you do not protect the hidden volume from information and so on so and that's that so we can close this off now and there we are so now we've got our container uh, all set up so let's just take a look at the container here so we've got the container inside our documents area and this was it here okay 
So this is our hidden container. Now it's not very hidden because obviously uh, it's on there saying storage, but you could rename this if you wanted to, to whatever you want to do. Uh, you could call this, uh, say for instance, .mp3 or .mp4 or something like that, and you can see it will put a video thing there, and people will think that's a an actual uh, movie or something like that. As long as you leave the name storage, that'll be fine. And when you want to access it, you can take the uh, part off here, like so. And there we go. So now we've got this here called storage. Obviously, you can call yours what you like. And uh, we're going to access this area. So what we're going to do is open up uh, here. It's going to select a, uh, a file so we can open this up. And uh, we're going to click on storage. Click open. And then we're going to click mount. And now it's asking for the password. Now remember, we have two uh, encryption areas we have an outer volume and we have a, a hidden uh, volume so depending on which one you want to open in that storage folder is the password that you put in so if you want to open the outer one you put the outer password in if you want to open the inner one the hidden one uh, then you have to put that one in so let's first open up the outer so I'll just quickly put this password in and we we'll click, click open so there we go, that's now mounted and we can now open this by right clicking and click open and there we have our data. Now you can't see our hidden data because obviously that is hidden. So uh, that is in another volume inside this storage area. Now if I wanted to do that, we can do that. So all I need to do here is dismount this. Okay, so now if we want to uh, mount our hidden volume, we still need the same location which is our location here uh, which is our storage container because there's two volumes inside that one storage container we now need to uh, mount and when you click on mount we need to put in the password of the hidden container now before we do that i want to show you this area here which is the mount options when you click on mount options you can see here mount volume is read only and you can also see the uh, protect hidden volume against damage caused by writing to outer volume. Sometimes when you're writing to the outer volume, you can create uh, damage for, to the hidden volume and you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure uh, that you uh, do that. Okay, so password to the hidden volume if empty cache is used. So what we want to do here is we're going to put in here our hidden volume password and we're going to leave this as is okay and click OK here and now what we can do is click here and put in our password for our hidden volume click OK and we haven't got nothing in our hidden volume at the moment but you can see it might take a bit of time because it's going to decrypt that in a volume so we're just going to let that happen okay so that's the actual uh, volume now done you can see the encryption algorithm is AES and it's hidden that means we've accessed the hidden volume inside here now there is nothing in here at the moment uh, but we can add stuff inside here and uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to quickly open up something that I want to put in here that's going to be hidden let's just say for instance uh, this area and we can go into the hidden area and I can drop this inside here. This might be all my passwords that I want to keep hidden from anyone, okay? So that's now inside here. We can close this off and uh, dismount. And now uh, we can go into our other volume, which is our outer volume if I wanted to as well. And you can just go backwards and forwards, but they won't know you've got two volumes inside here, okay? So I'll just put the outer volume in, as you can see here. Type normal encryption AES and that's the actual name of it there so we're going to open this up and you should see we're back inside the outer uh, volume and that's pretty much it that's how you can create uh, a secret hidden uh, container inside uh, Windows 10 here and inside any other operating system and also uh, USB flash drives external drives or whatever you want to do okay so it's pretty straightforward and easy to do just hit dismount and uh, once you're finished, you can come back 
to the location where you've got your container, which is here. And you can call it container if you want to. Uh, if you want to try to be a bit more secretive, you can call it whatever you like. And you can rename this back to whatever you like to try and uh, put people off. So for instance, if I wanted to leave this here and I didn't want anyone looking at this file, uh, then we could just put .mp4, something like that, or, or whatever you want, and no one's going to ever bother with that. If you've got other files in here, you'll know what that is uh, there. You can uh, rename the containers as something you would know, and name it something like that, and then when you want to access it, you just have to remove the .mp4 or .mp3 or JPEG or whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one uh, helps you out. I know it looks a bit complicated, but it is pretty straightforward and easy to do. Uh, as long as you remember all your passwords and stuff like that, you should be pretty much good to go. Because if you forget them, it's going to be impossible to get into that uh, container. Okay, so make sure that you keep good uh, uh, records of those passwords. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified when we upload new videos every week. And also, if you haven't joined my uh, forums, you can also pop over there and join. It's free to join, and you can join the community or post your video requests over there. Or if you've got computer problems, that's a good place to start over there. If you, join, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then the information is on the screen. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.